welcome to another episode of the O Files. And uh, on today's episode, I kind of want to give a tribute to Bed Bath and Beyond, y'all. Like, it's super sad seeing this store like filing for bankruptcy and closing. And the only reason I say that is because I actually worked for Bed Bath and Beyond at one point. Um, so. Just to give my little story about it, once upon a time, back in 2005, I moved from the city to Wheeling, so I, the, Chicago, <laughs> and I moved to the suburbs of Wheeling, Illinois, and I had a roommate, uh, and we worked at the same company at the time, but we kept going to the club every other night. <laughs> And I was, I was like, what, 24 at this time? So, yeah. We work all day. We partied all night, and which was fine and everything until a, a certain point. Where I was like, I don't know if I can live this life. <laughs> like, I want this lifestyle, but I can't afford it. <laughs> so I was like, okay, you know what? I need to find a part-time job. So um, I worked in Deerfield, Illinois, and um, I was working in one of the corporate buildings on, um, shit, was it Lake Cook Road? Something like that. Uh, but right across the street was a strip mall in Deerfield, and um, I didn't want to work at a place that had uniforms because, you know, I'm a big dude, and I didn't want to be tucking my shirt in every day, so... I noticed that the people at Bed Bath & Beyond were just walking around with like t-shirts and whatever and jeans. I was like, oh, I found the greatest place in the world. So I applied and then a few days later, like I was hired. And I do have to say, like I, I had a blast working for Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, I started out as a cashier. And when I was a cashier, I would look over at the customer service desk and I was like, man, like they... I feel like they have all the power over there. Like, they're telling people no, which you weren't supposed to do. Like, the one rule that Bed Bath & Beyond had was do not say no, because they had these mystery shoppers. I think that's what they were called. And so they would have people come in and actually grade you. And if you fail, like, we heard about it. And if you pass, we heard about it. But, of course, the failing was worse. But people would come in to say, like, oh, um... You know, did everyone greet you? Because you had to say, like, hello, hi. And if you, if, if they tried to do something or ask a question, you couldn't say no. You had to say, like, well, my alternative answer to your situation is this. But I said no all the time because I was like, no, we're not doing that because people, people are coming to the store and trying to return things from other stores. And I'd be like, well, let me look this up. Well, man, this ain't our product. I didn't say no. And you would think they would be like, oh, man, like he caught me. No. But because I vividly remember, like, so once upon a time, I worked in Marshall Fields and Target. Like, Target bought Marshall Fields or acquired them or something. So years later, I worked at Bed Bath & Beyond. Some lady tried to return, like, a like a, a bed, a, a comforter. And the tag clearly says Target Corporation on it, but she's trying to return it at a Bed Bath & Beyond. And I was like, they say it our merchandise. Oh, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> this ain't our merchandise, so we cannot take it. I just say no, but I was like, we can't take this, man. No, we can't. We can't take this, man. No, sorry, we can't. We can't take it. <laughs> um, And then don't even get me started with Bath & Body Works. Does people would buy things at Bath and Body Works and try to return it at Bed Bath and Beyond? <laughs> Sorry, this isn't our product. Oh my goodness. And the people in Deerfield, Illinois, good God. I have busted so many people trying to walk out of there with comforters. There was a man who used to put comforters under his cart and he would go to the customer service desk. Because when you're at that desk, you can't see over the counter to see that he had. So he'll buy little things. They were like $5.99, $9.99. And he will keep the comforter under his cart and just not put it on the counter. 
And after a while, I just kept seeing this guy like I. Like I know I would buy stupid shit here and there, but then when you see certain repeating customers, you're like, why are you back here? Like, what house are you furnishing that you have to keep buying all this stuff? So I would go, so I just bust him out. So I was like, oh sir, let me help you. It seems like you forgot that you put this comforter under. He hated me. I feel like he didn't go to that store when I was not working. <laughs> because when I was working, I was like, oh, there goes that man again. Let me go around the counter. He hated me. I saw him in a restaurant one day. I went to go eat for lunch, and he was there, and I just stared at him like, mm-hmm, I know you. <laughs> Old women would come in and put shit in their, like, they would buy a garbage can, and they would come to the counter, and... When they're taking stuff out, again, they would come to customer service, which was really funny. But they would come to the counter and be like, oh, you know, here's all my stuff I want to buy. And then they go, oh, I have this garbage can. And they'll lift it up. And I'd be like, oh, okay. Bloop. Can I just check the garbage can? And I'm like, oh, no, that, yeah, that, it's fine. There's nothing in there. Yeah, no, I need to check the inside of your garbage can just to make sure nothing fell in there or anything. Y'all, like, I would find, like, soap dishes, soap dispensers, towels, uh, just toothbrush holders. These fucking suburbanites are not... I don't understand why people... If you live in the suburbs, I assume you're rich, but apparently you're not because you're cheap because you don't want to buy shit. And I've busted so many people with things. It was funny. It was a very... I, I was there... I want to say... If it wasn't three and a half years to four, I don't think I went over four. So maybe if I hit the four-year mark, I was probably there for like four years from 2005. And I want to say, like, I had a blast. I met a lot of fun people who I still follow. If I I either talk to them personally, um, I keep in contact with a lot of people like on Facebook and, um, or there have been times where I've gone to other suburban bed bath stores and ran into people who I used to work with, especially managers. I know like with the managing job, you probably get like shit from different stores to stores to stores. Um, but when I worked at Vernon Hills, there was someone working there on my way home. There was a bed bath I used to stop at. Um, I can't think of the suburb, but there was a lady that I, I used to run into it. She was like, come back to Bad Bath. I'll put you in my department. I, I, I considered it though. Because the, re- <laughs> and I'll tell you the reason I quit Bed Bath, I had a nervous breakdown one day. It was a Saturday. I was working at my, my Deerfield location and y'all like these, these people, I'm not going to say what nationality. <laughs> they drove me over the boiling point. Like I, I, I I was trying to stay cool, but there was this one day and these folks drove me crazy to the point of no return. And it got to the point I was probably like halfway into my shift and I had to take my, Name tag. <laughs> no, no, before I even do that, I had to go to the little office and tell my MOD, I can't do this no more. Like, I'm done. And he was, you know, they try to like keep me and keep me and keep me. And I said, no, 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 no. <laughs> I can't with these people no more. <laughs> these people. Um, I can't. I am, I am done. Now, mind you, and I, I, I feel, I feel like I'm, I missed this part in telling you. So when I started off as a cashier, I really, I, I looked at the customer service. I was like, oh my God, like they have, like they have the power over there. Like people are doing returns and they're doing their best to say no. And I was like, well, I can say no and not say no. Um, and then when I was, uh, uh, when I finally did get moved into customer service, I was looking at the um, key holders, not the key holders, I'm sorry, the um, front end managers. That's what it was. 
So there's a front end manager. So if anyone was doing a return and needed like a key turn on the register, I would do that. At the end of the night, I would I would count the money and put it in the bag for the bank and have the MOD come and check my work and blue blue blue. Um, so I so I ended up being like a front end manager, what they call, it. right? So I was doing that and. There was this one day, there was so many people, like, they were stealing. There was one time this guy tried to go through one of our registers and, I don't know what it's called, like, quick change the cashier. Like, he would go and be like, I'm buying this stuff. The guy was like, here's your total. He goes, okay, well, here's my, like, I don't know, $50 bill. And then he goes, well, no, hold on. How about I give you this and then you give me that and then I give you this and you give me that and I give you this and I give you that. And he... That was happening, and then people were trying to get, like, shit off, like, the shelves and that weren't there, and I don't know. Just, I, there was one, I had a breaking point, and so I told my, so I told my, um, MOD, manager on duty, um, I'm done. Like, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't with these people. <laughs> and he's like, do you need to just go home and just rest? I go, you know what? This is not the first time this has happened. This has been happening lately, and I'm I'm really really kind of done right now. So yeah, so I left the office. I took my name tag, and there was like this this poster board to hanging out when you first walk into the store, and I just I took my name tag and I clipped it on <laughs> to that thing, and I just, I just walked out like that was my last day, and I was like. I enjoyed this, but I'm done. And I think that was my last day at Bad Bath. Like, it was a legit nervous breakdown. Like, I, it was a lot. And it wasn't just that one day. It was stuff building up for, like, weeks. I don't know what was happening. But it just seemed like this one day, something bad happened, and it just kept happening every day. Every day for, like, three weeks. And it just, you know, weekends are our busiest days, and yeah, I couldn't. But regardless of all that, I met a lot of incredible people. Uh, this one person in particular, I, he's he's in my list of like my very best friends. He knows who he is. I'm not saying his name because it's my show and it's my rules, so I'm not gonna say. But. It's really sad now. <laughs> Is that all I had to say? I think I said everything. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's my history. Like, I, it was a part-time job. It paid the bills. It did exactly what I needed. Um, I do have a lot of memories from that place <laughs> of, of, of shit just went down and, and whatever. But when I was there, we had, like, the, it was, like, the best crew. It was the really, it was the really best crew of people I worked with. I still keep in contact with a lot of people to today. Um, like thank God for like Facebook, you know, we can still like talk cause I, I'm, I know I'm, I'm a really bad person to call people. I, I work in cu customer service since high school. And when you work on the phones all day, the last thing I want to do is come home and talk to someone on the phone. Like fuck the phone. Like if you're not, if it's not a text, Textable conversation. <laughs> I, I, I don't want. I don't want to talk to you. Um. So it is really super sad that Bed Bath Beyond had to like file for bankruptcy, and now they're closing all their stores. So the last couple weeks, I, last week and today, I did visit my local, the closest one to me, uh, which is Skokie, Illinois. Uh, Bed Bath, just to kind of see like you know what I could get and. It was, it, it has been super sad, like, walking through those doors and just seeing, like, because, like, I, I've seen improvements they've been doing, like, especially at the cashier section, it's not just going up to a cashier. Now they have that whole system, like, Burlington, where they, like, the machine says, like, go to number, uh, cashier number four, and then, you, you know, you go. They have that now, so I've been seeing them upgrading, which is why when they announced they were closed, I was like, well, shit. The one by me, I know they, they spent money like upgrading their cashiers for that thing to tell you to go to a certain cashier, but 
I, I guess they were trying, and I don't, I don't, I don't know. But, um, so anyway, it is very sad. Just walk through the doors, I guess, for the first. I, I'm not going to go back. I, they don't have a lot of shit in there no more. I don't know if I missed the rush, but I thought I was going to clean out on those, like, the, the housewares wall of, of gadgets and shit. I thought I was going to clean out and be like, you know what? After all these years, I didn't think I need this, but maybe I should just get this down. <laughs> that, that, that shit is gone. So it's not a lot of stuff in there. So I found some things here and there. Um, but I did find this one item, y'all. And let me tell you about this. So today, I found this. Let me show you this close up, right? Now, if you look at this, this is the tag, right? There's no price on it. <laughs> and right now, everything in the store, like the signs say, everything is 25% to 50%. Which, by the way, I ain't seen nothing in that store for 50%, so I don't know why that sign says that. But... If you look at this, right, and this is like the only one like this in the store I went to. And I swear I saw this the last time, last week I was there. And then when I went in today, I saw it again, but it was moved. It, it, it was in the front of the store by the grill and summer stuff. And now I found this in the back. So I was like, is this the same one I saw last week? And now it's moved. Because it has this wrapping around it, right? So I said, okay, whatever. So I threw it in my cart because I was like, well, I was looking at other um, LED lights and things, and I didn't like the way they look. And some things look, like, cheap to me. And, uh, and But I do like the whole, like, you know, the new thing they were doing with the LED lights with the candle. So look, it works. Hold on. I put a battery in it. I'm going to find the light. I don't know if you can see it. Wait, nope. There we go. Look. Right? It looks like a little candle flicking. And that's like the new thing that people are doing with their candles and, and what have you. Okay, that's a timer. It says that's a timer setting, but I don't know how long the timer is for. So when you look at this, <laughs> this, I... It ha again, it has no price on it. I don't know if it was used or anything because it had like this, this, I haven't taken this off yet, but it has like a, a, a wrap around it, right? Y'all, let me know in the comments below. <laughs> How much do you think this costs? I'll give you time. Ready, set, go. Mm. What did I set that timer to? <laughs> okay. All right. So, did you put down any guesses on how much you think this costs? It's an LED lantern, indoor, outdoor use. And this thing uses C batteries. Who uses C batteries anymore? All right. <laughs> So, when I was at the register, I had a whole bunch of shit, right? And I was putting stuff on the calendar, and the guy was, like, scanning it. They only had one worker, because who's going to Bad Bath anymore? Because they're closing. So, the guy's put. I'm putting stuff on the calendar. The guy's going, boop, boop. I admit, <laughs> my mistake was not asking, how much is this? <laughs> also... With all the upgrades I mentioned before, they have the um, the POS system that they have. You can actually look down and see, like, as he scans shit, you can see, like, the item and then the price. I didn't look. I didn't look because I had other things in my cart. And I was just, go, you know, I was taking stuff out. And then he was going, boop, boop. So I should have stopped to say, how much was this? Because this was the only thing I bought today that did not have a price tag on it. So it wasn't until I left the store, safely got to my car, 
took everything out, got in my car. I decided, you know what? Let me pull out my receipt and uh, I'll pull out my receipt here and just just look, you know. And I see that everything I got was 25% off. But y'all, I found this lantern on this receipt. And this shit was $60.99 for fucking this. The 60 and now that the store is closing, it's everything is final. Everything is a final fuck. What did I do to y'all, Bed Bath? I was loyal to y'all for like three and a half to four years. However long I was there. I I have supported you through the years. <laughs> I have given a, a positive review of my experience and the people I have met. And y'all sold me a lamp that at one point was in the front of the store last week to now the back of the store this week. Ain't got no price on it. Uses C batteries because who uses C batteries anymore? Hey, y'all charged me $60.99. And with my promo 25% off, the final price, mine is $15.25 was $45.74 for this. So, I guess Bed Bath Beyond has the last laugh because I can't walk in and demand my money back because apparently all finals, all sales are final. What did I do to y'all? What did I do to you? The one thing. <laughs> the one thing. Oh. Bad, bad. I'm done. Um, that's my story. Let me know in the comments below if you have any funny stories with Bed Bath Beyond. If you have any great memories with Bed Bath Beyond. Um, if you follow me on Facebook, do you watch my videos? If you watch my videos and I work with you for Bed Bath Beyond, give a shout in the comments below. Say hey. And if you don't, then I know you're not watching my show and you're not promo you're not promoting me, you're not supporting me, and then I, you know what? I'm just I'm just mad. I'm just mad over this. <laughs> I'm going to use this thing every day. I'm going to fucking use this when I take a shower, when I take a shit in the bathroom, when I cook eggs in the morning. What the? Why? And look, look, it's, it's not like this has been tampered with or anything. This is the, the price tag. This, this is not a $60 item. Y'all, y'all, if you think I'm just joking, <laughs> I'm not joking. Look, it's right here. Can you see it? It's this. Do you see 60? I can't see. Where is it at? Right there, in the middle. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> they got me. They really, they got me. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with these, um, I've always had like, I should have known something was up when the coupons stopped, coupons, coupons stopped coming in the mail because they, you know how they used to send this shit like, 
every three days, you just get coupons in the mail. And then, or like, you know, like the little like magazine thingy with all the, the pages of stuff. Like I have one, two, three, four, like six of these $10 off. We spend like $30. I had a couple like twenty dollars off all merchandise, but this is like years ago. I have, like three of these left, and then they started like when you have the twenty percent, they still take the twenty because I work there. Um, even if you had like a twenty percent coupon, they would still take it after it expired. But then that one year, they were like everything twenty percent after the actual expiration date, it, it drops to ten. Should I know that was that's probably your your downfall, y'all? Like why you do that shit? Why are you? All right, this video is long. I'm done. Um, yeah, that's it. I just thought I'd share. So, bye.